Good evening. Gonna do a quick sketch of this tree. And the reason I'm doing this tree is because I want to study the evening light on it. I've been more and more interested in capturing evening light. My name is, my name is Jason Lee Taco, and I want to thank you for um, stopping by checking out what I'm doing. Colors on my palette, titanium white, which is sliding down, cadmium lemon, cadmium orange, yellow ochre, transparent red oxide, a lizard and crimson, ultramarine blue, cobalt blue. Probably want to get some cerulean on here, maybe. Venetian, uh, sap green, I usually don't use that, but I have it today, and Indian yellow. So I'm gonna sketch in really quick some approximates. Approximate colors, approximate values. And if you're um, liking this, do me a favor, give me a thumbs up, make the algorithms happy. So let's try to create some interesting shapes here. Just using a bristle brush, brush it along. Apologize for the traffic. Somebody just happened to build a road right where I was gonna paint, so. Yeah, I know, somebody's going, ha ha, really funny. But if I ever uh, can't make this art thing work out, I guess I have a job in comedy. Okay, so I have approximate of the um, tree end of the values. Let's get in just a hint of some of those really dark accents. And I'm almost out of transparent red oxide. I'm gonna to have to replenish that. I started another painting a little bit ago and I had to stop, it was a dud. I had to completely wipe it out because the light completely changed. It was an intimate scene of this one backlit plant and I didn't realize that there were some tall trees that were gonna soon block out the sun. So a little bit after I started, there went my light. and I did not have enough of it finished to um, want to continue on, so. So that went bye-bye. Okay, let's see if we can make this um, area here where the trees meet the grass. See if we can make that a little interesting just by giving it some different shapes here, not just one straight line across. This is a little cooler in here. Let's see if we can just dash a little bit of that note of color in there. A little cooler, a little bit lighter. That's pretty good. Let me, I'm gonna 
replenish that uh, transparent red oxide before I continue here. Okay, got some colors replenished. Let's get in a little bit of that foreground. Sneak in a little bit of Indian yellow. Indian yellow is a nice color for really punching up the intensity of colors like this. So as usual, light's gonna change pretty fast on me. That's a, a constant refrain you'll hear from me, but it is true. That's why I tend to paint on the smaller side when I'm out here. Because if you go bigger, it's just not enough time to fill up that real estate. Just a bit cooler. There's a uh, farmhouse up here. That's just going to be eliminated. It gets cut off anyway if you really look at the um, how the composition lies, but. It'd be kind of neat to get that in there. But my objective, and you always want to know your objectives when you're out painting, is what are you after? Uh, after the uh, light, effective evening light on that tree. That's what I really want to get. So everything else is secondary and can even be tossed out if need be. Okay, now let's get in some sky. I want to get my palette pretty clean. I've been very fascinated lately with evening skies. Sorry, I dripped some of my white paint on my the outside of my garbage bag. If I don't wipe that off, that's going to get everywhere when I put this in my car. Okay, so what do we got? Normally, I would love to use Venetian in there, but I didn't bring Venetian with me. So I'm going to have to get close as I can. see a tinge of yellow, a little more yellow in there than what I had. Let's get a little bit of 
cobalt and viridian in there. A little bit darker. Let's go a hair darker with that because there were a little too much alizarin there. Evening skies are a bit of a mystery. They almost have like a subtle kind of dirtiness to them. And also a bit of a vibration to them. You don't want to make them dirty per se, but they don't have that pristine color that you get from morning or evening or uh, afternoon skies. And as you can see, I'm getting quite particular about it. Okay, so now what to work on here? That's too dark. I have something laid down. I'm gonna kind of mess it up here. Bear nothing, keep the sky pretty good shape, but um, I like to do that sometimes. It keep, it loosens me up. It keeps me focused on the uh, mood, which is what I really want out of this, not objects. So I'm going to stop there for the YouTube public. Move on to Patreon. Uh, for my Patreon only members, check out the link below. You can watch the rest of this thing as I rush through this to get this done, racing against the light that's dropping very fast. Anyway, thanks for watching. Give me a thumbs up and hope to see you on the other side.